the number one question I get asked a lot about Hootsuite is can it post to Instagram and people who are using Instagram there was a time when it was very difficult to post to Instagram without hitting um, two different screens and going back and forth so now you can post and that's the answer to your question now if I just answered your question we would be done so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you a little bit more in this um, video instead of just answering your question I'm gonna show you the steps to go through to set up your Instagram but before we get started why would you want to use Hootsuite for Instagram and what is Hootsuite maybe you're not even sure Hootsuite schedules all your posts out for you I think you've probably figured it out by now that to be to build a business you have to be out there you have to be um, creating content um, getting people to follow you who want to get to know you like you and trust you and the only way to do that is you've got to keep posting and that takes a lot of time doesn't it I mean I know when I first started I, I had a friend that I met we were both um, we both met in a training actually um, we live in two different states we've never met in person but we've been friends for a long time now but we were just talking the other day we said remember when we first started we met in this training and we were spending all day long posting we didn't know anything about social media management we just knew that we had to get out there and we had to post and that's all we did and it's funny now but that is what you end up doing in the beginning because you're like okay I got to post um, so things have you know you'll learn as you go but here's a tool you can use social media management and that's what Hootsuite does you can go in and schedule your posts ahead of time okay why would you want to do that well it's it saves you time <laughs> that's the number one thing and you can recycle the post so you want it what I have done is I make like 90 days worth of posts and then I recycle them every three months people are not going to remember what you did a week ago let alone three months ago so recycle them don't feel like you have to always come up with new stuff now if you want to keep it fresh and new then keep inserting your new stuff maybe you can have something new and fresh every Friday or something like that and recycle the rest you'll you'll have to figure that part out but also posting on Instagram Hootsuite allows you to post aesthetic very beautiful posts and again like I said earlier there's no switching back and forth it's going to help you increase your following and increase your engagement because you're being consistent so let's go through the steps how exactly do you set this up it's the teacher in me I love to make powerpoints uh, because I I know that sometimes when you're only listening to somebody and you're trying to take notes you miss Part of what the people are saying so I've put the steps on here for you so if you want to just take snapshots do so number one make sure you convert your Instagram account to a business profile if you're if you're posting for business you absolutely want to have a business profile um, once you hit 10,000 followers you get a lot of benefits so if you're if this is your main platform then definitely you want to do this and here are the steps um, you can stop the video take a snapshot whatever you need to do but those are the steps that you need to follow now step number two is you want to add your Instagram business profile to your social media management platform okay so again here are all the steps that you need to take so um, you definitely uh, let me give you another picture I'll give you a minute to do that what you're basically doing is integrating the two systems so that they can read each other and you can do everything from your business profile platform um, here's a picture that might help you um, it's an it's an integration integration like I said um, you're integrating your Hootsuite to your Instagram now notice here Hootsuite also will manage your Twitter account your Facebook account your LinkedIn your WordPress your YouTube and your print uh, Pinterest so that is pretty awesome all those accounts so once you start building your business obviously you're going to start building other accounts my advice right now if Instagram is your main platform build it and focus on it um, I know in the beginning that was another mistake I made I was trying to build three or four platforms at once because in my mind it was like oh, I have to have big numbers on every platform you don't focus on one um, there's there's a lot of um, research out there that says if you have a thousand true followers that sincerely are following you because they know you they like you they trust you they connect with you you can make money so don't feel like you have to have 50,000 60,000 
it's impressive, but a lot of the people that have all those followers, not all of them are true followers or true fans. So work on building a fan base of people that are true fans. And then once you're doing well on Instagram, then move to something else. And, and again, you'll have to decide when that is, but who's sweet. Um, you can schedule on all these different platforms personally. I would get that uh, Instagram going, get it recycling and taking care of itself. And like I said, maybe once a week you're going to go in or once a month, freshen it up, but then move on to something else and get it set up as well. All right. Step number three, start composing your post. You're going to hear the steps again. Um, there are um, a, a couple you can go ahead and click these if you, I don't know if you can click, you're on a, at the computer, but um, a compelling Instagram captions, you might want to click that article and you can add hashtags as well. And there's an article there to help you out as well. But you're going to start composing those posts. And again, you want to have compelling captions that are going to make people want to click it, you know, read it, share it and, and like it. Okay. And here's an example here somebody has a post and there's all the information and then you get to schedule it and this is the fun part you get to go in and schedule it on a calendar when you want it to post and it used to be that you had to go in and keep clicking it to make it post and you don't need to do that anymore you can tell exactly the date and the time and it will be done for you now here's a tip check your analytics for the best time to post if you're not really sure um, think about yourself or maybe some of your friends or kids or whatever when do they seem to be on instagram um, people adults are probably on instagram during the work hours you know maybe they get to work and maybe probably right before lunch you know maybe they got things caught up they're getting ready to go lunch and then they might start checking or maybe on the way back from lunch maybe they're tired um, they've just eaten and they you know kind of check an Instagram or something before they get back in. So think about yourself. When are you on there? Um, I know moms, if you're dropping kids off at dance or whatever, um, you're sitting and you're waiting, you might be on Instagram. So think, think about your audience and when they would be on there. And that's really going to help you post at the best time. So hopefully that was helpful. Answered your question, gave you a little tip there and, uh, Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you get all of my videos from Monday through Saturday. Thanks and you have a good one.